652 on this Wednesday morning. Good morning to you. It is being called the closest political race in the history of San Diego County. The winner of one Chula Vista City Council race came out on top by only two votes. Political analyst John Dadian is here with more on that. Have you ever heard of such thing? Two votes? Uh, in San Diego, this is the closest in recent memory in, of all the 18 cities. So, yeah, this, this is. And again, but, uh, you know, across the country, there's close races. And here's another example of every vote counts. Every single Steve vote. Steve Padilla counts. would tell you that. Right. In fact, he's the one who is not coming out on top of all of this. Looks like John McCann uh, will, unless Steve Padilla decides to ask for a recount, which he can. Actually, technically, uh, uh, and it's five days that you have to ask for a recount, but technically anybody can ask for a recount. So what will probably happen, because it is expensive, is there might be some other group, and possibly the Democratic Party might be the one to ask. Uh, we're talking $40,000. That's probably how much this will cost if they have to go ahead and go through every single vote and still see if the same results come out the same. Who pays for that? Again, the person who pays for it to start is the person who asked for the recount, wh whomever that is. And so when the recount starts, uh, they do start charging, but it can be stopped at any time. So 40000 would be if it goes for a total recount, and it might take as long as a week. Okay, and now if it turns out that, in fact, uh, the county of the Registrar of Voters was wrong, and Steve Padilla actually wins, would he get the money back? Absolutely. He, he does would. get it if, he's, if he is declared the final winner. The other interesting point, Heather, is that uh, because it was certified yesterday, right now the swearing in for John McCann is scheduled for the ninth. so we don't know if the recount can be done before that. If it's not done before that, he will get sworn in. He will get sworn in. Correct. Okay, that even, even if the recount's uh, ongoing because it was certified yesterday, and until a recount overturns it, he, he is certified as a winner. That is interesting. Okay, talk about some of the other major shakeups because the election in general was certified yesterday. That's correct. We have 18 cities within the region of San Diego County, and dramatically, two uh, uh, mayors of cities were running for re-election. You know, that's very rare to defeat an incumbent got defeated. That was in La Mesa, and that was in the city of Poway. Art Madrid, the longtime mayor of La Mesa, is no longer the mayor of La Mesa. In he's an institution in La Mesa. I mean, it's been decades. Uh, he's been there. What do there. you think happened there? You know, it's a combination. Art is 80, perhaps a bit, you know, problem with politicians. Sometimes they do stay too long. Uh, obviously, La Mesa doesn't have term limits, so he wanted to run one more time, but it was a council member that defeated him, and uh, people just wanted to change. Okay, talk about what happened in Poway then. Again, very similar. A uh, little different in the sense that the uh, council member who defeated the incumbent mayor had a little celebrity go for him. He's a country and western singer, became a little famous, got on the council last term, so a lot of that was going, and again, the mayor didn't see that it was, you know, a sea change in, in his own city. All right, name recognition can do a lot in an election. So yeah, that would make absolutely. Sense. We've seen that over and over. John Dady, and thank you so much for coming in, sharing There's your expertise with us this morning. Good. All right, thanks. Just two votes. Every vote counts. Every vote counts.